Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike here. And I'm going to show you some of the edits that I did for these photos in Lightroom. So just going to talk about a few of the things that I did. And this was from a snowmobile trip a few days ago. Some of the pictures that I took, the Tamron 2875 with the Sony a7 III. So from right here, what I'm doing is I usually hit auto. So once I have the photo there, I hit auto and see what adjustments it does and I start from there. Next, there are presets that I like and the ones that I like to use the most are from That Icelandic Guy. So it's That Icelandic Guy on YouTube. He has some presets that I really like. So right now I'm just going through just searching to see if there's any presets that are going to work. So the first few edits I do, I use the presets and then I have another edit with no presets. One of the ones that I like from that Icelandic guy is, uh, I think it's called Street. Uh, there's one I can't really see it, but there's a, a couple of street ones that I like. I think it's called Street Vibe. So the Street Vibe ones I like. So here I went with one of those presets. Now what I'm gonna do from here is usually I wanna fix the sky. So I'm gonna drag a gradient down and going to usually I lower the exposure and for in this case I want this guy to be a little bit blue so I'll probably change the saturation a little bit make it blue change the clarity the dehaze just to bring out the sky and make it a little bit more interesting so I'm just moving things around just seeing what looks good just kind of like just testing things out seeing what I like seeing what in that case I went a little bit too blue and then now I'm changing the temperature put a little warm temperature in there so I'm just really I start with the base auto sometimes I use I'll go with the preset and then from the preset I'll decide what looks the best in these presets though they don't really work for portraits they're more for street photography and landscape and photography like this because uh, they change the skin tones a lot so I don't really use them for portrait and here another do another gradient I'm just going to lower the exposure on the bottom of the photo adjusting the color just I'm adjusting the red here um, just trying to make it look the best I'm upping the saturation and maybe lower the luminance a little bit Okay, so now I'm selecting the brush and what I want to do is just highlight the snowmobile and I'm going to up the exposure a little bit and then I think I up the temperature too. So I'm just making the snowmobile stand out a little bit from the background. I like to do this on machines or, you know, snowmobiles. If you saw my Instagram where I had the truck, the plow truck, I did the same thing. I'll usually make it a little bit warmer and it stands out against the sort of bluer or colder looking background going around the snowmobile and then I'm going to up the temperature. Now here I'm just cropping it a little bit better. Sometimes I look at the photo and then I just decide where I want to crop it, you know, what side I want to bring in. So I'm just straightening out, cropping it, making everything look nice. And that is pretty much it for this edit. And then I'm going to go on to the next edit. Okay, the next edit, that is the before shot. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I go to auto and I'm just checking the presets. Seeing what one I like, seeing what looks good. This, I think I did the same one on this. I think Street Vibe, Street Vibe 2 maybe is a good one. I like Street Vibe 4 for a city with lights and it's uh, maybe it was raining and the lights look really good with Street Vibe 4. It's a lot of contrast. So I just go through and see what one I like, check them all out. I have presets from Pierre Lambert too, but my favorite ones are from that Icelandic guy. Sometimes I do black and white too. I have a black and white photo that I edited here, uh, but I think I, I'm going to do Street Vibe 2 and then I go through there and then start making the adjustments from that preset. So that looks pretty good right there. Just from that preset, it looks pretty good, but I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to adjust uh, crop if I need to. 
Now I'm going to do the gradient again on the sky. So I'm going to bring that down. I don't like it that plain looking, so I'm going to add some blue and change adjust the exposure of the blue. So I'm going to play around with that with the gradient. But even from there, you can see just from that preset, sometimes that those presets are so good just with that one edit. But in this case, you definitely have to, or I think I have to adjust the sky, which uh, what I'm doing. But those presets, sometimes you just put them on the photo, they look really good. And then I'm going to come and adjust the red. So I want to adjust the saturation and drop the luminance here. I'm just going off what my eye tells me looks the best and I like that I like the saturated red with the lower luminance now I'm another gradient on the other side just kind of making a vignette and bring in everything sort of fading the edges and bringing your eye closer to the center I'm going to get a brush tool and I'm going to adjust the exposure on the red so See we there where it's a little bit brighter on that red part. I'm going to drop the exposure that on that brush tool and then I highlight the machine again and I'm going to make it a little bit warmer and a little bit more, maybe a little extra exposure and temperature to the warm side just to make it stand out a little bit from the background. The background is blue and the sky is blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to the snowmobile. And now I'm going to use the brush tool to just drop the exposure on that part of the red that's a little bit brighter so I'm gonna highlight that go over it and drop the exposure you can see how that red it's not as bright now that's all for that edit now for the next edit so this is similar to the last two same thing um, check the presets find one I like and now I'm gonna adjust the sky with the gradient This one I didn't use a preset. So it's same idea. I'm using the gradient to adjust the exposure. And then right here, I use the color wheels. And I was just trying to add a little teal and orange. So I'm adding teal on that color wheel. Then the shadows, highlights. And I was just making um, just a different look for the teal and orange in there. Just um, just trying different things, testing it out. So that one was without the preset and that was the final result. And then the last photo, uh, similar idea. So the sky is really, there's nothing in the sky. So what I do here is same thing, select a preset, that Icelandic guy preset that I like. And then I start changing the sky uh, and then from there, I'm just I just adjust the colors with what I like or what I think looks good, and that's pretty much it. That's how I edited these snowmobile pictures. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Check out Instagram for some other photos I'm going to upload, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. New videos coming out. I'm gonna actually the next video I'm going to make is going to be how to need clone and heal tool in Lightroom. I'll show you some cool photos I edited with those tools. So. Uh, it's Mike here, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.